In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to make this exact simulation in Blender using MantaFlow, which is free and included in Blender by default. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing X to delete the default cube, and then we're going to import a model, and I'm going to provide a free model in the description. And this uh, free model is uh, just a basic male mesh. And then next, I'm going to press number one for front view, and then press G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And then next, we can add some smooth shading. So go to object and then shade smooth, and then press shift A and add a cube, and this is going to be the domain. And then press G, set, then one. And then I'm going to move the origin to the uh, 3D cursor so that when we uh, scale up the cube, the lower face is not going to move on the set axis. And then you can press S, then shift set to scale the cube only on the X and Y axis. Okay, and then next we can select the uh, male mesh, then add some fluid physics, then set the type to flow. And then the flow type to liquid because we're going to add water. And then I'm going to increase the sampling substeps to increase the quality of the simulation. Now, before we continue, we can create a save. So press Control S and then save the file where we want on the computer, give it a name, and then press Enter to save. Okay, and then next, I'm going to select the domain and turn it into a domain in the physics settings. So select fluid, then domain, and then set the domain type to liquid. And then next, we can enable diffusion, which allows us to change the physics of the water, and then enable mesh as well, so that we can see the water as a mesh. And then set the type to all under cache, so that we can bake the simulation also like to make it resumable so that you can pause the simulation process. So uh, let's do a uh, quick water physics simulation. So I'm just going to save before I do the bake. So press Control Shift S. I'm going to create a new file and then click Bake All to bake the simulation. I obviously sped up the uh, baking part. As you can see, we have a uh, simple water simulation. And then the next step is, of course, to improve the resolution as well as uh, changing the domain size because I want it to be a bit bigger. So press S, then Shift Z to scale it on the X and uh, Y axis. And then we can increase the resolution to increase the quality of the render. Of course, the higher the resolution, the longer it's going to uh, take to uh, bake the simulation. So for a fairly quick PC, I'm going to set it to uh, 350 and wait a uh, couple of hours to bake the uh, simulation. So uh, click Bake All. And a few hours later, we have the simulation. So uh, let's move on the timeline to see what it looks like. And hopefully you got the uh, same result as me. And I'm also going to hide the original male mesh so that we only see the water. And then next, we can go to the render settings. I'm going to switch to cycles and use the GPU and set the number of samples to 50. If you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU. And then I'm going to make the background transparent. And then next, we can add a material to the water. So uh, let's add a uh, glass shader. And then set the roughness to zero so that it's uh, completely transparent. And then let's add a background image. I'm going to use an environment texture. And you will find free HDRIs in the description so that you get a nice background image as well. And then when we go into the rendered view, you can see that we now have the water. So let's press Shift A and add a plane as well. So press S to scale. And then I'm going to move the floor a bit closer to the water. So press G and set. 
to grab it on the z-axis. And then we can add a material to the floor. I'm just going to add a glass material with a dark color. And then we can adjust the roughness of the floor as you wish. So something like this. And then let's save before we continue. And then we can set up the camera. So press Control Alt Numpad Zero to set the camera to the current view. And then press N. Go to uh, View. And then lock the camera to View. So that the camera follows your point of view. And at this point, we're almost done. So now I'm just going to make some tiny adjustments. So just uh, set up the camera the materials and the lighting as you wish so that we can go to the last step of the tutorial which is to set up the render settings and the output settings. Okay so at this point I'm done with the materials and the lighting so uh, next we can go to the output settings and I'm going to use a 4k resolution if you just want 1080p just leave it at 100% and then we need to choose a folder for the uh, final animation. So just create a folder and then give the animation a name. You can save it wherever you want on the computer. And then next, we can do a uh, test render. So uh, render image. And after a uh, few minutes, we have the render. As you can see, it looks fine. So uh, the next step will be to render the whole animation. So uh, just do a last save and then render animation. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.